All right, next I want to show you sql.functions and therefore I would like to go with you to the API reference and we have used this object before. <clears throat> so within Spark SQL, there's also functions and that is the object we have imported before into our program which we can find at pyspark.sql.functions and within that we find a lot of functions which we can use together with columns. And on the right side you can see that these functions have been grouped by how we can use them. So for example normal functions um, is basically simple or basic functions. So for example we've used the call functions function which returns a column based on the column name that we provide. So that one we know already. There is also a function called column, so fully written out, which basically does the same. And for example there is the lit function which takes a literal and returns a column. So here we can pass in a literal value, so basically a constant value, say a double or a string or, or so on and basically transform it into a column which we can use with other column functions as well. Otherwise there are random uh, functions for generating random values, uh, is, no, is null, is none, so not a number or is null and also a when and otherwise. So here we can also specify boolean conditions on columns. We, we are going to see how we can use them later on in our program. And yeah, there are a lot of other functions, for example, math functions, so co cosinus and sinus and so on, a ceiling floor or daytime functions where we can work with dates. For example, our date column in our data frame, we can say day, date add and basically adds days to the start value, which we would specify to be of our column date, so we can add days to a date and so on, or subtract dates. Yes, and we are going to work with these functions a lot in our video course here. And for now, I just want to show you how we can use them. So for example, the lit or cal functions that we have used before.